One thing we get asked a lot is exactly how does the transparent caching solution work? And I thought what we we're going to do today is walk you through about how uh, we insert our products, the QB series, into the network. And then see how uh, videos are actually being delivered by our solution to the consumers. So the method that we chose at Quilt is instead of creating a bump in the wire inline solution, which affects um, the resiliency of the network, we have opted for an out-of-band insertion uh, mechanism. We use a passive optical tap to get a copy of the traffic to our device through what we call a video analysis interfaces. We then have a secondary set of interfaces that we call video delivery interfaces that are used to redirect the, the content um, to the subscribers and have them fetch the content from the same interface. So let's look at exactly how the video transactions flow through the system and the entire network. So we'll start off with the consumer here on the left and um, typically most of the video today in the network is flowing over HTTP. Now inside HTTP, the way that the consumers actually get the content is by issuing what is known as an HTTP GET message. So this is a message that is sent all the way to the origin server of the network or to um, a CDN server that sits somewhere on the internet. As we saw before, the QB series gets a copy of all the traffic. And it is able to analyze these um, GET requests and be able to identify the video transactions that are the most popular in that segment of the network. Now, once the QB series identified that a, vi that a certain video is indeed popular, what it does is it stores that content inside our onboard storage of the same platform. Now, if new consumers want to watch the same episode or, or the same uh, video content, they would issue a similar GET request all the way to the origin server. At that point of the flow, the QB series would issue a new message called a 302 redirect message. The purpose of this message is to inform the client that the content is actually found on board the QB series in near proximity to where the consumer actually is. The next step of the flow would be for the consumer to issue a new GET request back to the QB series uh, video delivery interface. At this point, video serving actually starts to happen. And then through the same interface, we would send a 200 OK message with the actual content. And this would be viewed on the screen, whichever uh, screen the, the subscriber is actually using. This HTTP redirect mechanism is actually one that is used by many of the CDNs in the world. What the redirect mechanism ensures is that there is complete openness for the entire ecosystem. In case you need to troubleshoot, it's very easy to do that, same as it was before the transparent cache was actually inserted into the equation. And the overall subscriber experience is also improved because we get the device um, delivering the content in close proximity to where the consumers are. 